I'm going to show you real quick how to clean the pump basket. It should be done once a week. You have a time clock like this to just turn it off. Just give it a little bit of a hit right here. Let's get out. Bring it out. When you put it back in, it says to fill with water. And there's a little trick here I'll show you. You have one of these air reliefs, you just open that up. You can see that filling up with water from there. Close the bleeder. Put that back on and make sure it's tight. And good to go. Okay, this is a Hayward pump lid and it has this intermatic timer, so I just simply turn that off. Always check the O-rings too to make sure that um, there's not, no damage to the O-ring here. It's pretty flush on there, and you have to fill it with water. You notice that this particular filter does not have that air relief valve as the other one had. So what I do is I get a bucket of water and I pour it in there. Grab that. Like so. All right, just put that lid back on, and I tighten these back up sure they're good and tight. Come over here and I put it back on. There you go. Here are some troubleshooting tips for your pump. Let's say you get out here and you notice that the water is draining out of the lid. This one here is actually sealed so it's not happening here but the water drains down out of here. So you have one or two problems. One, this part here in the front melted by the pool sucking air which means that it's leaking which caused the part back here also to melt. So if you see any water here, generally you'll see the water here. You can see the water leaking there. You know that the front one also burned, but you don't see the water as, as, um, as evidence in the front. So both of those need to be replaced. And you just cut the pipe. This one has a union. You can screw the union and you get a big wrench and you put it around here, you can just untwist that. It's not um, glued in there. It's just threaded in. And same with the front one, and uh, that will solve that problem. Another thing that could ha it could be it could be the O-ring in the lid, and I'll show you a trick to see if it's the O-ring or not. Okay, let's say the water is still draining down when you turn off the pump, and it's not holding. Uh, the next, and you check the pipe to see if there was any leak, and you did not find one. So the next uh, suspect would be the O-ring, and um, one thing I like to do is put some silicone on to make sure. That it's the O-ring or not. Let me put some of that on. You just slide the lid out of there and I use, you can use any kind of silicone, it'll eventually just uh, dissipate and uh, I'll put some on the O-ring. So you want the whole O-ring to be covered with the silicone and then we'll put it back on. Okay now when we turn the system off we check to see if it's holding and if the water is holding that means that the O-ring was bad and with the silicone sealing it that gives it that seal it needed to stop the air leak and once in a while the um, the lid itself the plastic lid will fail and you have to replace that but that's very rare usually it's the o-ring or a leak uh, dripping from there which means that this part of the pump actually melted and needs to be fixed I'll show you a real tr quick trick to keep it going to get it fixed simply get a plastic bag like this and I'll show you how I, I simply tie it to the front of this around here to seal it off and back here, and I'll show you how I tie it on there. Okay, you just tie it real tight around there to kind of stop that air leak in the front. And you can tie one back there also, that way both are covered. And it's a real simple way of stopping that from leaking until you get it fixed. And one more area that you might have a leak from is right here in the housing where the pump comes together with the motor. And if you see water shooting out when you start up the pool, or you may see it dripping and the housing gasket needs to be changed. It's pretty simple to do on the Purex Pentair pump. You just take these six bolts off here, these six bolts holding the housing together, and it just slides off and you can change that gasket. The gasket's not that expensive, it's like ten dollars. And uh, I you always put silicone on the gasket just so it seals good. If you have a stay right pump, uh, there's like a little knob, you just untwist the clamp and the clamp comes off and the, and the pump motor come apart. 
it's much easier than these. And if you have a Hayward pump, it also has these six bolts holding it together. So that's how you change that housing gasket if it's leaking. That okay, one more problem you might have is you might come out to your equipment and find that the pump has a lot of air when it's running, it's cavitated. And you go to the pressure gauge and you notice that it's, the pressure is down really low, near zero. Uh, that means 90% of the time that means there's something stuck in the impeller. So I'll show you how to clear the impeller. So we'll go ahead and pop this lid off. Okay, we'll take the basket out and you can just get a screwdriver and kind of spin the impeller. See if it spins. And sometimes debris will come out and make sure it spins. And it may take a, a couple of times of doing that. You hear that noise right there. That's a good noise. That means that there it's actually clear when you hear that gurgling noise. So and we put everything back. Close it up. Okay, and that's filling with water. Now let's say that you're in that 10% range where that didn't work. I'll show you another trick you can do here. If, if that didn't work, what you can do is if you have a spa, you can put it in spa mode. And then in, in spa mode, you can check to see if, if the uh, lid is full of water. Then you know that if that works in spa mode and there's no air in there and it's got full pressure, and there's something stuck in the line. And I'll show you one thing you can do to try to unblock the line. You can get this at your local hardware store. What it is, it hooks onto the garden hose and it kind of blows up like a balloon. Um, use this to clear the main drain in your house. You can also try to clear any blockage in the pipe. What you want to do is put it on the garden hose and stick it. I'll show you right now. You want to actually stick it through here and not the skimmer side. Put the hose on and let this blow up like a balloon and put the let the hose pressure blow whatever the line out. Okay, and then you turn it on and see if that clears the line. Um, usually sometimes that will work. Sometimes you're gonna have to call a pool company and have the line blown out with CO2. Just call them up on the phone and tell them that something is blocked in your skimmer line. You need them to blow it out with some CO2 and they'll come over and blow your line for you and charge you for that if that uh, device doesn't work to blow out whatever's in there. Again, 90% of the time is something in the impeller. And one last thing, it could be also, um, if you if you put it on spa mode and it, it doesn't get full suction either, which means the impeller is still clogged, could be an internal problem in here where a part has broken and it causing the impeller not to spin properly. So that's the last thing that could happen. Again, if you do those steps, you'll find that 90% of the times there's some debris stuck in the impeller. Once you clear it, everything will run fine. And one last thing, uh, make sure your pump basket is intact. It doesn't have any cracks along the sides or especially in the back here. Um, otherwise debris will definitely get into your your impeller and clog it up. So that's one way to prevent the impeller from getting clogged is to check your basket regularly and make sure there's no cracks on the side. And the baskets tend to crack over time and you have to replace those. And I hope that was helpful for you.